I started my career in 2007 and uh, you know I started as a treasury analyst it's a very small position actually you don't get much value in the corporate they don't give you much value but I'm thankful to 2008 that in 2008 uh, the financial crisis come and I learned a lot during 2008 I met up with a banker while a flight to Mumbai and he said me that the sessions are always good for people those who wanted to learn new I asked why he said that during the sessions if you read three business newspaper in a day then you will get the knowledge which you never get in the books even if you spare your whole life I think he was right and that is the reason we are here and today I thank you very much to the global leaders Credit Suisse, HSBC, JP Morgan, India and many other countries for creating a recession because the kind of knowledge which you're getting nowadays you will never get even in your whole lifetime. Now this is a reply to one of the people who, who see my videos every day and wanted to ask and asked a question from me that why do I read newspapers? I always read two business newspapers in a day. It is 2 a.m. 2 a.m. in the morning and I am shooting a video. And you can see that there is a lot of newspapers around and I read all business newspapers. Because I feel that if you read business newspapers, it will not only increase your knowledge but will also give you a kind of courage which no one can give you. Anyways, let's move further. From the last several days, I am a very confused person. A lot of people come to me and said that you have a lot of clarity, you know what you wanted to do, you are just 35, you know what you wanted to do, you need not, you're not asking questions from anybody, what is what to be done, what not to be done, you know, so you have a clear, you have a crystal clear clarity. I absolutely agree. But one clarity I'm not getting nowadays is that is Indian banks are being frauded or Indian banks are frauded. This is something which I'm not getting from the last seven and eight days. You know, I asked this question from two different departments of my body. I asked this from my heart and my heart say that Indian banks are being frauded. So Indian banks got the people, Vijay Malia, Vijay Shekhar Sharma, you know, and all these great people, those who frauded the Indian banks and that is one of the reasons why India got so much non-performing asset in their books. Then I asked this question from my mind that, what do you think? You agree with the hurt or not? He said, I disregard. Indian banks are not frauded because Indian banks are fraud. Then I asked my mind, example. He said, okay, let's take a simple example. Choose any country, US, Canada, any country, whatever you wanted to choose, good country. And can you meet the prime minister of that country without any approval, any invitation, any meeting, and without security? You cannot. You need security clearance, approval from prime minister office, and a lot of formalities are there. Assume you go to US and you are able to meet Donald Trump. The most guarded person in the globe. American presidency, you meet him, no approval, no secret service, no police, nothing, you are able to meet him. It means that the problem is not with you, the problem is with the system, those who are guarding the Donald Trump. Now, come back to the data. But before data, let's let's talk about an idiot. There are many economists we have in India, those who are PhD, you know, and one of these economists I was, is in JP Morgan Chase and I was reading his article. He said that India is facing slowdown. And I'm saying from the last two, two and a half years that India is not facing slowdown. India is actually in a deep crisis 
India is actually in a situation when India is few steps away from bankruptcy. You know, few steps away from bankruptcy. I know 99% of the people, those who are watching this video, they don't have a habit of reading one business newspaper in a day. Had it been, you would have known that Standard & Poor give a clear warning to India that if the slump in the GDP will not get encountered, then there is a decrease, there is a downgrade in the credit rating of India. And by the way, Indian credit rating is not triple A. Indian credit rating is triple B minus, not triple B plus, triple B minus. So triple B, sorry, my mistake, triple B plus, triple B and then triple B minus. One downgrade from here, you are triple C. And I'm again sure the people, those who are watching my videos, do not watch Bloomberg TV. Had it been, you got to know that from Warren Buffett till best bankers of this globe. They have said that year 2020 would be the year of triple C. Now, triple C is not an acronym. Triple C is a rating. And I fully agree. And in fact, I agree with one of the banker more where he said that in 2020, triple B and triple C will rule the show. And triple A would be like, you know, really exist, really exist. Today you have 10 fingers in your hands, both hands and you even, even we don't have 10 countries in the globe, those who have AAA credit rating. That is surprising. Even not 10 countries we left, those who have AAA credit rating. This is what the scene is. So India is heading towards a crash. That's a sure. India is heading towards bankruptcy. That's a sure. You agree, you give thumbs downs to YouTube, it doesn't make a difference. Because I never make videos to please people. Our channel is not Republic TV. It is not Ajta. We shoot videos to let people know the reality. Now before doing, let me give you another reality. In the last 10 days, I got not less than 50 mails. 50 mails. And each of these emails is being given by someone who used to work in some company and they keep writing to us, keep going to our career desk and saying that we need desperate, we desperately need to work somewhere and we wanted to join Treasury Consulting. I'm not saying I called everybody. I'm not saying I have checked the CVs of everybody, but I called few and spared 10-15 minutes every day. And they said that the work scenario in Indian corporate reached as a level when even you do not know that tomorrow, maybe in the morning, you get an SMS from your boss that do not come up. One of the very big manufacturing concerns in Noida, Noida is basically NCR, National Capital Region of India. One of the big manufacturing concern is in, and in Noida, which is NCR, National Capital Region, you know, he said that not only they are asking people to step down, but they have clearly issued a mandate that in the next four years, there is no increment that would happen. So a company, big manufacturing company, I'm not putting the name in public domain. They said that in the last four years, no appraisal, no increment, no promotion. Rather, if you continue on your job, that is the blessing. And this company is, by the way, a leading manufacturer and they produce worldwide. This is what the scene is. Did any bloody newspaper, Republic TV, Aajtak or any other told you about this? Do you know that we have reached at a level when there is a mass unemployment we have in India, mass unemployment. And guys, do you know that Bank of Baroda wanted to sell their African unit? Do you know why? The actual reason is they don't have the money. They are selling their African unit. C. International banks, Goldman, JP Morgan, Standard Chartered, forget Standard Chartered, Goldman, JP Morgan and all, they set up their branches worldwide. And Indian banks, those who launch, those who having few foreign branches, they are selling it. What is the moral of the story? Very clear that we do not know how to manage. But I know that the media, that the, that our corporates, that our uh, news TV, business TVs, they are very much busy in, uh, what do you call, 
the citizenship bill and now after citizenship bill there is another which is data protection bill so they got their material now this is uh, let me give you yeah first this newspaper this newspaper is 11th december today is what 14th december okay practically 15th december it's already the morning so this is 15th this 11th december newspaper and in this 11th december newspaper page number 2 okay see frauds rises as economy slows okay 11th december newspaper indian newspaper so let's check it out specs please as the fraud at carvi stock brokers we already made a video about carvi brokers carvi is nothing but a nexus i am telling you right now the banks the broker houses like carvi and there is a third party also in the game which i term this as black sheep i don't know who is he together these three are having a nexus and i am telling you right now that regulator is in sync regulator is in sync carvi scandal regulator knows everything since inception and today they are not only saving the carvi but they are also saving their jobs anyways let's move the move, move let's check the numbers by the way these numbers are given by the national crime bureau and the most innovative central bank of the globe Do you know the name so national crime bureau and most innovative central bank of the globe those who are against bitcoin those who are against blockchain but you know in 2013 14 the total amount of fraud happened is roughly 10200 200 crores in 2014 15 so every year is a sequence actually 2013 14 is roughly 10200 Next year, fourteen fifteen, roughly twenty thousand, which means there is an increment of roughly nine thousand crores, which is good job. Two thousand sixteen seventeen, there is a small decrement of five hundred crores. We can say it is a flat, so still good job. Two thousand sixteen seventeen, roughly twenty four thousand crores, which means five thousand crore increase. Good job. Two thousand seventeen eighteen. Indian banks did wonderful job. The total losses, total frauds are forty one thousand crores, which means eighteen thousand crores increase. Tremendous, a chilling. Two thousand eighteen nineteen, it is seventy one thousand five hundred, which means thirty thousand crores worth of more frauds. Excellent. This is called job. Blank Fin and J P Morgan should learn from them. Blank Fin, Goldman Sachs, and J.P. Morgan—they know nothing. They should learn from these banks how to do frauds. They know nothing. And now I got this news. This is 12 December 2019. Okay. First half of 2020, because second half actually is yet to come. So the fiscal year starts from April. So first half means April, May, June, July, August, September. So basically, basically the number is still September. So October, November, December, January, February, March. There's three months yet to come. So the six months figure we do not have actually. So 2020 first half, which means the six months, April to uh, approximately uh, uh, September. The total number of fraud amount is 96,000 crores. Which means approximately twenty five thousand crores increase. So just use your brain and don't worry. Even if you have an IQ of five out of ten, you can understand that video. So what I wanted to say that from two thousand sixteen to two thousand seventeen, the increment is of eighteen thousand crores in a whole year. While seventeen to eighteen, the increment is approximately thirty thousand crores. While only in the six months. From 2019 fiscal when it closed, only in the six months of 2020, the increment is about 25,000 crores. It means six months is yet to come. So if I assume that I am not a corporate treasurer, I am a person who know nothing. 
then it means that on a pro rata basis also it would be not less than 20,000 crores for the another six months which means this time banks will do a hats off job whereby they would close another fraud year which is known as two th which is not less than 40,000 crores minimum that is why I am asking a question from my heart and my mind. My heart is saying Indian banks are frauded. But I am not in agreement with my heart. I am asking this question from my mind. And he is saying right. Indian banks are fraud. How can that possible? That on a year to year basis. The amount being amount due to fraud is growing. No checks and balance no manuals, no audit and forget big fours. No CAG, Comporal Auditor General, no internal audit, no senior management, no one is accountable. No one is accountable. Effectively, if I say that, collate both information that in 2013-14, the total amount of fraud was 10,200 crores, while in 20, the first half, it is roughly 96,000 crores, which means approximately 9.5 times. It means in six years, six years, no political connotation. No one in this, no one who is watching this video will do any political connotation or denotation. In six years, the total amount of loss because of fraud or the amount involved in the fraud grew by 9.5 times. Even Apple sales will not grow 9.5 times in the last six years. Microsoft, Google, name any company. But India again set as an example that in last six years, the total amount of frauds is 9.5 times in value terms. Did you know CNBC, Artstuck, Republic TV, ET Now, and all these Bloomberg Quint, whoever had a one hour session? And by the way, this newspaper is not printed for me, this print in the whole country. So anyone can buy this newspaper. And I'll tell you that the cost of this newspaper is how much? Is 5 rupees. So I hope that Archstock, Republic TV, Bloomberg Quinn, CNBC, ET Now, they can, NTTV Profit, they can buy the 5 rupees newspaper. Oh, sorry, two newspapers. In two newspapers, you can collate the whole information, 10 rupees. But are they interested? No, they are not. But the story not yet ended, story is still pending. Story is that, in this approximately, I would say, you know, how can I say this that, around 95 to 98 percent of the frauds that happened in 2017 and 18 belongs to the public sector banks. Now can I ask one question from public sector banks? With due respect from government, can I ask the question from government? Dear, dear government, when you started it was 10,000 something crore. Take it 10,000 flat. Today it is 95,000 crores. So in this whole six years, it grew by roughly 9.5 times. Is the government really thinking to ban all the CMDs of banks? What are chairman and managing directors of the bank are doing? Air conditioned car, seven stars travel, business class accommodation, and private assistance, as you know, and everything. This is taxpayer money. This is the money which you and me pay. Tomorrow, I booked, yesterday, I booked a domain on BlackRock. www.rahulmagan.com 
Anyways, we are launching our personal website. That will come in March 2020. I was expected to pay 800 rupees for that domain in a year. I said, okay, 132 I paid, 144, precisely 144 I paid as a tax. So the total cost of domain to me is 944 rupees. Out of which 144 rupees is the tax. And you know where this tax is going? Here is a tax going. This 140 rupees is going there. When I look this from an Indian angle, I got to know that everyone is having an equivalent share. 407 frauds in Bangalore, 76 in Chennai, 217 in Pune, Mumbai, Surat, Ahmedabad, Jaipur. 1400 fraud cases in Jaipur. Delhi 300, Gaziabad 201, Lucknow, Kanpur, Calcutta, almost everywhere. So economic offenses are happening everywhere. There is no exception of economic offenses. I would like to conclude this video with simple three questions from India, the government and the sleeping regulators, Reserve Bank of India. How long the taxpayer money continue to be wasted on the frauds? I think all these paid people, those who come in media and say that the worst is over, they do not know that, forget me, they do not know that today the uh, ex-CEA, uh, you know, uh, ex-CEA, which is chief economic advisor to the government, he said that the worst for Indian banks is yet to start. And I am in completely agreement. I am always saying that whatever you are looking right now is only a trailer. It is only a trailer. The real story is actually pending. Not pending. Deep pending. That is what. And guys, do you know that there are so many tools we have worldwide. Like I don't know how many of you have been to Singapore. By the way, I am Singapore based. If you come to Singapore FinTech Festival, you would have get to know there are huge amount of tools we have right now, which is eKYC, e-onboarding, and there are humongous amount of tools the companies are offering. If these tools would implement in the Indian banking system, then majority of these frauds can be collated as faster as that. We are living in a time when IMPS reached to sender to receiver in five minutes but we are unable to collate the data because we don't have the data. According to me, Indian need, India needs eBank, Electronic Banking Account Management. And Electronic Banking Account Management is a, actually a tool by a SWIFT. If Indian banking system will come under Electronic Banking Account Management, then this will resolve a lot of problem. Hey guys, do you know what is the cost of, cost of Electronic Banking Account Management? Take your calculator, 5 divided by 95,760, 5 crore divided by 95,760, I am, I'm, you know, my mathematics is very strong, you compute and let me know. This is the cost of electronic banking account management in India. We are fine spending 95,000 crores worth of, uh, I would say, uh, worth of uh, money, taxpayer money, but we're not interested in 5 crores. And do you know none of the Indian IT companies, Infosys, KP, uh, Infosys TCS, Wipro and SCL, they promote eBAM because they don't have the capability of eBay. And more importantly, when, what India desperately needs now is the swift audits. Tell me one thing very simple, very straight simple. This 95,000 crores must have been routed from a sender to a receiver. I agree the money is routed in such a way that it's very difficult for people to get to know who receive, who send and all. But whatever happens, every transaction is having a SWIFT ID, which is known as class 3 audits. 
do you know visit the rbi website and see that is rbi himself know what is swift audit why institute of chartered accountant of india is not mandating the swift audit why like a statutory audit swift audits are not being imposed on the big force and by big force did you uh, read the statement given by nfra nfra said that deloitte left with big lapses in their audits and now they wanted to prosecute deloitte whatever the legal terms and conditions are deloitte so eventually we india is now turning a country which i term this as mutually exclusive not i mathematics term this as mutually exclusive so in english the meaning of mutually exclusive is that whatever is happening with you the person on the other side do not know whatever happening with you that is mutually exclusive singapore technology innovation blockchain iot artificial intelligence virtual reality structured derivatives you know invoice discounting platform digital wealth management and what not india 10000 crore frauds 19000 crore frauds then again 19000 crore frauds slowly 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 we do a good job we end up 96000 crores of fraud and the target in the minds of chairman and managing director of the banks are this time we have to cross 100000 crores carvi scandal happened and no one is arrested today till today carvi scandal happened and securities and appellate tribunal is listening to banks rather than cancelling the license of the banks those who lended without kyc carvi scandal happened and investors are not getting their money back from carvi carvi scandal happened no forensic audit is being ordered on another brokerage houses maybe they are doing the same stuff carvi scandal happened rather than indusind stock price to decrease because they landed to carvi it increased rather than icici bank three top banks hdfc icici indusind rather than their share price to to decrease because they landed they violated the kyc guidelines they violated the sebi circular they let the public investor money at risk their share prices are growing but do we have someone left in the system who can come in the media and say why rather than going down it is going up and the worst happened when i opened the bloomberg quint few days before i generally watch bloomberg why generally i always watch bloomberg tv not bloomberg quint because bloomberg quint is that ki you have a ganga jal in this ganga jal you mix the wine the quint part is indian part which is wine the bloomberg part is the ganga jal so if you mix the wine with the ganga jal the end result is bloomberg quint that is why i really watch bloomberg quint i always watch bloomberg and in bloomberg quint they invited somebody who rather than speaking that the role of icici hdfc and indusind in came in carvi fraud he was praising icici bank and i was listening to him and i was thinking that where we end up rather than talking about ebam electronic banking account management rather than talking about the mandatory swift audits class 357 audits rather than punishing the big force those who are promoting fraud rather than putting comptroller and auditor general and asking why public sector banks are losing when you are doing the audits rather than inviting the most intelligent person of the group globe vinod rai who was head of the banking institution and under his leadership these frauds happened we are here praising icici bank and the media is in a will to get this done this is 2019
when regulators sleep, media paid, corrupt, research forums are completely dead. And no words for the government. With this, we thank you very, very much and we assure you that such videos are on the cards. Treasury Consulting is committed for 10,000 plus videos before December 2021 and we are moving in that direction. It doesn't matter what people think about us because I am not Republic TV, I am not Arnab who will always be pro-fraud. I know how to raise the voice. Treasury Consulting already filed for banking license in Singapore. We are filing our banking license before December and there are a hell lot of action which is happening from Treasury Consulting angle. This side Rahul Magan signing off. You know my mobile number which is plus 91 which is an Indian code 0091 9899242978 9899242978 you know our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global one thing before leaving i wanted to assure you is that in 2020 there are so many things that would happen you cannot assume treasury consulting would be on toes in 2020 and because of us many people would be on the toes in 2020 have a good time and keep watching. Understood? Thank you.